Hello, question six. This question is amazing. I recommend people do this as a practice whenever. Okay, so um, this is an expectation question. There's not many about. I've not seen many of them around. A uh, film unit is making a wildlife documentary series on humpback whales, and sometimes they appear at the location where they're filming. The producer wants to film these two whales, but is concerned about the costs, and there are only two more weeks left before the deadline. So they've been there. The whales haven't appeared. They haven't filmed anything. Do they carry on or do they just quit? Um, they're working on the project as um, an assistant. Or I am working as a assistant producer, apparently. So these are the probabilities. So the probability that the whales will appear in any one week is 0.4. The cost of staying at the location is £50,000 per week. The cost of filming the whales, if they appear, is £30,000. And if the unit films the whales, the income will increase by... Two hundred thousand pounds. So the producer's considering these three options: stop filming, leave immediately. Option B: one more week and see how they go. Option C: stay at the location for up to two more weeks. If the whales appear in any week, film the whales and then leave the location at the end of that week. So, if the whales are not appeared, stop filming and leave. So we need to advise them, and that means we've got to work out all of these options. So option A: costs. Zero. There is a cost of nothing. There is no extra income. It's pack up and it's leave. Option B. So B is going to be whales appear or they don't appear. Now, if the whales appear, and this is a 0.4 probability, it's going to cost them £50,000. So I'm going to do negative £50,000 so we can see that as a cost, right? Plus, the cost of filming the whales, so that's going to be 0. Point, that's going to be negative £30,000. And they're going to get £200,000 for this. So plus 0. 0.4 of the £200,000. I'm just realising that I could have just worked out the total cost benefit and multiplied it by 0.4. So let's just do that. So that's going to be 0. 0.4 times by... £120,000. Right, so we'll do that on the calculator. £120,000 times by 0 0.4, and that gives us £48,000. Right, we're not finished yet, though. Because if these whales don't turn up, it's going to cost us 0 0.6 times by the 50 grand cost of staying there. There's no 30 grand cost because the whales don't turn up. That means we don't have to film them. We're not going to do anything with that. And the £200,000 isn't going to come our way either. So £50,000 times by 0 0.6 and really I should be putting that as a negative and that's going to be negative £30,000. So our expected value for option B when we put those together is £18,000 and that's better than A so it's better to stay for B at the moment. Okay for C I'm going to need a bigger diagram. Week one, whales will appear or they won't appear. And if the whales appear, as you can see above, 0 0.4 times by negative 50, blah, 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 we're going to get £48,000 of expected cost there, all right? If they don't appear, now this is another scenario, we go into here where they'll appear in week two, or they won't appear. Now, if they appear in week two, we've got 0 0.6, 0 0.4 here, so we will have accumulated 0 0.6 times by negative 50k. Actually, no, I'm not doing it that way. Change my mind, right? Let's just do it all in one go. So 0 0.6 times by 0 0.4 equals 0.24. So it's a 0.24% probability that these whales are going to not appear and then appear. And then let's work out our costs. So we're going to multiply it by two lots of 50k. Two lots of 50k is going to be 100k. Why is it two lots? Well, because we're staying for two weeks. Then we're going to add on the 30K. That's the cost of filming. These are both negative. And then we're going to add on the 200K for those whales showing up. So that's going to give us overall £70,000. And then we have to multiply that by the 0.24. Which I've done on my calculator, I don't want to take any risks with that one. 1,000, sorry, 16,800. Okay, so that is our opportunity.
value. That's what we could potentially get. And then the no-no bit, right, no-no, is 0.36 multiplied by the, the cost, which is going to be £100,000 because that's all we've got cost-wise. The whales didn't turn up uh, on this scenario. We have to film them. And then that is going to be negative £36,000. Okay, then all of these three outcomes need to be added together. So we've got the 48000 We've got to add the 16,800 and then we subtract the 36,000. Right, I'm going to run that through my calculator. 48,000 0, 0, 0, plus 16,800 take away 36,800. 0, 0. Overall, that gives us 28,000 pounds. So that is the highest one, I think. Let's have a check. Yeah, 18,000, 28,000. There we go. So I'd recommend, recommend staying two weeks as the expected value expected value is 28k i like to say that 28k big lump of money all right i love i'd love for a mathematician to go through this work out what the probability has to be of the whales showing up to make option b the best or to make option a the best what, what probability will, will lead to the least amount of money right um give one reason why the producer might not follow your advice. They, they might want to go home. Um, so might want to go home. That's my favourite, to be honest. Um, they, they might not, they might have another project coming up. They might not want to spend the money. They might not have the money to spend. They might not want to risk losing um, this bit here. I mean, this option here could have a loss of £36,000. Well, actually, if we look at it, in reality, that's just the expected loss. There's a potential for them to lose £100,000. If the whales do show up, basically straight away, like what we've worked out at the top bit, it's £120,000 in because they'll have £50,000 of cost, £30,000 of cost, and then £200,000 in. So they can make £120,000. And that difference with £120,000 and losing one hundred grand is quite a lot of money. So they might just not want to take the risk. So not take the risk. I'm going to put up there as well. Not take the risk. Okay, that is question six. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you for following these videos. Please like and subscribe. I will be getting more stuff up there, but this is probably for a year 12 cohort now, moving into year 13. But good luck with your exams, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.